Okay, here I am, James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. I'm here at the uh, Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet, uh, Route 46, uh, west out of Brook, New Jersey. And guess what I'm doing? I'm using my head. I'm going right, I'm going right for the roast duck that's out of luck. Somebody, or somebody else grabs all the duck, and then I will be out of luck. It happens to be Good Friday. I know the Catholics uh, that are devout only have seafood, but you know, all is forgiven when Jesus uh, made the big sacrifice. Crawfish. Uh, all right. Okay, I got my duck. I'm happy. Let's see what I got. What else do I have here of interest? What do we got here? What is this? I pot roast? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Of course, here we have the. Um, it's stuffed clam, but it's probably the um, artificial um, crab meat in there. I'm gonna take some of this um, flounder wrapped around shrimp for my own version of surf and turf. Okay, my own version of surf and turf. Flounder filet wrapped around camarones. All right, here's the Mongolian barbecue. Mongolian barbecue. Uh, there's no sign. I don't know what kind of meat this is. I don't know what it is. If it's beef, I'll tell you right now, it's well done. Okay. So therefore, I don't know what it is. Let me go down over here. If there's fried calamari here, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on the second round. Here's platanos maduros. Uh, not sure what that is. Uh, now these shrimp are actually these are very good. These fried shrimp. Not much breading here. It's actually mostly shrimp. All right. Uh, so. Okay, no calamar yet. It'll probably come later. Uh, now, this looks pretty good. Ah, look at that. We got some gyros. We got little baby gyros, I guess. Which is a surprise. These are good. No, no, uh, I'm not talking to myself. I know. I'm, I <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not um, we're, we're, cauliflower. Where's my favorite? Cauliflower. They had it last time for my Yeah, I know. They have, really they have it every week. Here's the squash. There's Brussels sprouts. Nope. No Brussels sprouts for you? It was too hard. I tried it. Oh, they were a little too hard? Oh, okay. Um, all right, you know what? I'll get that uh, on the second round. All right. Let me get myself a knife, steak knife. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, very important. My lemons. How am I gonna? Oh, I got no straw. Very nice. The waitress didn't give me a straw. All right. Here we go. Lemons. All right. Got the roll grape leaves over there. I'll get that on the way back. Uh, okay. You know what? This is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to use my hands. Oh boy. All right, hold on. You know what? I should have done. I should have. 
brought the plate here like a dope. What a dope I am. All right, I think I got enough. I'm juggling many lemon wedges as we speak. Many lemon wedges, both in cup and in hand. Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay, here we go. Now I do my lemons. I mean my lemon water. And here we have basically what I uh, what you saw on video before. It's round one. Uh, Royal Hibachi. Water control. All right. It happens to be Good Friday. We'll see how good Good Friday is. All right. I want to give a shout out to everyone from the Facebook group. Everything is food. Everybody involved, uh, near dear Natalia Rodriguez, uh, creator Mario Petra, Salvador, Salvatore Mercurio, Anthony Laura, Mick Von Raven, Nathan Bates, um, the whole kit and caboodle. Okay, people that are proactive on the groups. Uh, let's see, am I missing anyone? No, I think I covered most of them. I, Okay, it's round two. Um, it's Good Friday, 2018. Gonna have some grilled yellow squash and uh, maybe some zucchini. Okay. I had an argument with the waitress because she, I just poured a little bit of, um, just a little tiny bit of lemon water on my hands to take the grease off my hands from uh, eating the uh, roast duck and she and she scolds me and tells me that the men's room is the place to wash your hands not here I says I wasn't washing my hands I was just simply using the acid from the lemon to take the grease off my fingers so I don't get grease on my my iPhone you know that's all what nerve? I mean, she's not getting a tip. I'm telling you right now. She's not getting it. She's not getting a tip at all. Um. All right. Let's see if anything's new here. No, not really. Um. I'll get some sushi later. I don't see any fried calamar. I'm really, really upset. I'm, 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 I'm like, um, I really am. You know, I just put a tiny bit, a tiny bit of lemon water on my hands, and and the waitress yells at me for doing that. You know, so technically I wasn't washing my hands per se. shrimp are very good by the way I don't see fried calamari but you know it'll do these are very good <laughs> All right. and some roll grape leaves here Great, please. Um, it pisses me off, really. I'm really pissed off. All right, it's round two. Well. Looks like I'm gonna have to have hot and sour soup because um, all the hardcore sushi is gone because it's so busy here. There you go. I, I could have some of the spicy tuna roll. You know what? Why not? That's all. Right. I'm not talking to myself from the moment I'm doing the video. <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm talking to myself. Okay, I'll take some of this 
I guess it's spicy too. Oh, it wasabi. Sesame flavored wakame uh, seafood uh, seaweed salad. Not, not today. Um, what do we got? Uh, oh, I thought that was unagi. No, see, they're pretty wiped out because it's Good Friday. It's Easter weekend, all right? So they're wiped out. I was going to get Mongolian barbecue, but they have no lamb. I'm going to move for lamb. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. Um, Get some hot and sour soup here, and um, after this, let's get to have some ice cream and just call it a day. It's a little crowded here, um, but I'm happy for them. I'm happy that their business is doing well. Um, the head chef, um, general manager, told me they're doing well on the um, for the dinner. Um, um, segment of the day and uh, on the week on the weekdays they're they're increasing they're getting busy during dinner hours dinner hours which I'm happy for them um, all right so that's it and then then I'll have some ice cream and I'll just call, call it a day you know oh boy Maybe get some fresh, fresh pineapple. I'm not even in the mood for Trey Leche if they brought it out, to be honest with you. Now, if they bring out flan, of course, I'm in the mood for that. But fresh pineapple is always so good. Very good towards the end of a meal. All right. Excuse me. Everybody in my... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't even need, nor do I want soy sauce with this uh, spice tuna roll. So, that's it. There's no sense of me taking a video of ice cream in a cup. That's ridiculous. So, um, unless they put something out really dynamic for dessert. I'm going to close this uh, round of our uh, Easter, I mean Pagan Easter, Ishtar week 2018. Okay, okay, here, we are. here I am, James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. Here's the tail end of uh, Easter, uh, uh, Ishtar, Pagan Easter um, weekend 2018. And here is dessert, tre leche here, fresh pineapple here, some kind of a custard pastry here, and what looks to be possibly uh, some kind of coconut flan looking, I don't know what it is to be honest with you. But this is it, um, I'm finishing off. And um, you know, my, uh, my long time close friend and uh, uh, former co-host of Progressive Discussions is pro most likely laid to rest um, this week and um, you know he will surely be missed the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman so uh, let me dedicate uh, this video to him okay may he rest in peace um, I was just telling uh, Mr. Mick Von Raven on the phone that um, it's amazing, you know, it's a weird feeling. It's very strange when you speak to someone and see them once once or two times a week, and then all of a sudden, they're gone forever. It's a very strange feeling. But anyway, take care, folks. Have a good holiday weekend.